Hello everyone. In today's fast tutorial, we'll see how to quickly create some Doom wall tiles like these ones. I'll only do the main shapes, and I hope this process might help you understand how to use some simple nodes to create more complex materials. So let's get started. We'll begin with a polygon 2 node that will be the main shape of the tile. Set the size to 4 and adjust the size. And a gradient linear 2 node that will help us create the cavity. Now we need to rotate the gradient linear 45 degrees. We can do it with a safe transform, so we set the rotation to 45. And to avoid losing volume, we disable the tile safe rotation and set the tiling to absolute and horizontal only. Now let's invert the result. And now we have something we can use to create the basic shape. We create a blend node and set it to mean darken. And now we can connect the polygon as the background and the inverted gradient as the foreground. If we want to adjust the contrast of the gradient to make a less extreme cavity, we can just add a histogram range. We can also control it by adding a levels to the polygon too. We create a tile sampler. And now we need to set the amount. Since this pattern is alternated, we can set any amount we want as long as it is even. I'll set it to 6x6 and change the pattern to pattern input. Let's adjust the scale. We are almost there. As I just mentioned, if we check the reference, the shapes are alternated. So let's increase the pattern input number to 2. Then create a transform node. Rotate the pattern 90 degrees and connect it as the second pattern input. Now we need to tell the tile sampler to alternate. A quick trick to do that is to use a checker node as a distribution map. Let's set it to 3, that way we'll match the 6x6 sampler and connect it as a distribution map. Enable the distribution in the test sampler. And now half of the pattern is gone. That is because the distribution maps the weird things when they have a value of 1. So let's add the levels and lower the max out just a little bit. And now we have a perfect tiling pattern. Well, that's all for now. Please let me know if you like these quick exercises, and if you do, I'll try to do more. See you next time.